So many of the stories that zoos have to tell are sad ones. They're stories of loss, destruction and extinction. But this is a good news story. Let us introduce you to one of the smallest wallabies, the South Australian mainland Tamar wallaby. Many years ago, these wallabies would have hid in the scrubby bush during the day. But farmers came and cleared the land, hunting the tamar for its fur and for sport. Cats and foxes arrived, decimating the population. Rabbits eroded the land, and by the 1920s, the mainland tamar wallaby had become extinct in the wild in South Australia. This is where the good news story begins. Sir George Grey, Governor of South Australia, was so enraptured with the tamar wallaby prior to their extinction that he collected many animals and in 1870 transported them to his personal collection on Kawao Island in New Zealand. He didn't know it then, but his actions saved the species from extinction. In 2003 we brought them home again. 85 wallabies were returned to their native homeland and housed at Manato Zoo, where a world-class breeding program began. We were so successful that over 100 wallabies have now been released into a new safe haven, this time into the sanctuary of Innes National Park at the bottom of the York Peninsula. The loss of a species is a tragedy. Zoos act as a last refuge for endangered species. This project has been remarkable because we've been able to do what every zoo dreams of, reintroduce an animal that was extinct in the wild back into its natural environment. The cost of this project has been high, but the price of not acting would have been much higher. More than $1 million has been spent by Zoos SA and our conservation partners over the past decade. We want to ensure that the next part of this story can continue. We need your support to breed more wallabies over the next 12 months to ensure the survival of the species. You can be a part of this story. Please give today and help us add a new chapter.